What's up guys, Brendan here, back with another video. Today we're gonna to be learning the song Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. This is one of my all time favorite songs and it's absolutely beautiful on piano. So I'm really excited for you guys to learn this one. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do new videos every single week. I do take requests for tutorials and I also do original piano songs and cover songs as well. So yeah, feel free to click that subscribe button and let's get right into this video. Now before we get started, I'm gonna just play you what you're gonna be learning in today's video. Here we go. Okay, so this song is really heavy in the left hand movement. So you have like the melody in the right hand, which is when the lyrics are sung like And then the left hand is a lot of movement. So we're going to start with learning the right hand melody and then go into the left hand, then put both together. And I'm just going to play through it, then we're going to break down how to learn it. So that's E, G, and A. So you go E, G, 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 A, A, A. A helpful thing for learning this is to remember the lyrics or to listen along to the song while you play this. But it goes like this. Then it repeats. Okay, then it goes. So that's the part when it goes, oh, you don't really care for music, do ya? So it's like this. So practice that with me. Let's play the full thing together. Repeat. Then it changes. Okay. Then it goes. So it's kind of like a walking up the keys. So it's like this. You start on E, skip F, and then you're going to walk up these four. So it's... go all the way up to C okay and then you're going up to D and then it goes so that's a little tricky because of how many times you're repeating the notes so the best way to learn this is to just go along with the lyrics of the song and try and memorize how many times you're hitting each key. So let's go over the second section. One more time. So 
let's try it all together. Like I said, it's best to just memorize this, but the, the notes you're playing are E, G, A on the first part, and then you go all the way up to B, C, D, E, okay? So it's E, G, A, then you go B, C, D, E. So it's those notes, no F, okay? So from the beginning, print out the lyrics of the song or have it up on your phone and practice this part with the tune of the song because most of you already know the melody of Hallelujah. So that's how I recommend learning this because you are repeating a lot of the keys multiple times. And so the counting method where like you count each key eight times like I usually do in my tutorials is not really going to be the best way to learn this. So just pull up the lyrics and then try and learn that part that way. So now we have the Hallelujah part okay so that is so that's e g a a then you go a g e e and then that repeats e g a a then you go a g That's a little tricky, so it's crossover. I usually cross over so that you can play these down here. So it's crossover. Okay. So let's put both of this part parts together. though he says different lyrics on the next part, the actual tune of it is exactly the same. So then that entire section repeats itself, okay? So what I would do if I were you before we learn the complicated left hand is to just practice repeating this whole section. So I'm gonna play it through here for you. starts over. different 
is the second time that you do this, so now instead of doing it, you actually play the same exact thing, but you just do it higher up on the piano. So I'm going to play an example of what I mean here. So it's the hallelujah part. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right? And that repeats. And then instead of going down here, you go all the way up here to this E. So it's the same exact thing. And it's just instead of going... You jump up here so I'll just play that through one more time okay guys so that literally is the entire right hand for this whole song that just repeats throughout the song. And like I said, the only difference is the second round, it then goes high up, okay? So now we get into the hard part, which is the left hand. So you're gonna do this crossover every time you're playing in the left hand. So what, what I mean by that is, so your, P, your pointer finger is gonna have to cross over each time. So like, So that's going to just be aware that you're going to have to move your left hand like that. So the first one is C, G, C, cross over to E, back to C. So just try that. Try it with me. C, G, C, E, C. Okay. Now you have to jump all the way back down here and go B, A. And that starts the next one. So C, G, C, E, C, B, A. And then we, we go on to A, okay? So just try that with me. So you're really going to have to stretch those hands. After a while, your fingers get more flexible with stretching. So it's almost like because I've been playing so long, my fingers can like do the splits, right? So I can reach all the way from like D down to probably B would be the most I could stretch. So over time, it will get easier, but just know that you're gonna have to make a pretty big stretch down from C all the way to A. So you'll have to move your hand a little bit because your hand won't be able to stretch. So that's okay, but just remember that you have to move your hand. So it's gonna be like this. Now, when you jump, you have to land right on B. I usually play B with my fourth finger so that I can start the next rotation, okay? So, B. Okay, so now the next part is A, E, A, cross over to C, back to A. So that's A, E, A, C, A, A, and then it starts the loop over again. So I'm going to show you what I mean. B, A, A, C, B, A, A, C, B, A, A, C. practice that because that's going to go throughout a lot of the song and then you kind of keep this weird little pattern throughout you're just changing the different keys so the next part you do after those two are you go so you're kind of playing G then you go F so it's G F C F just different keys so I'm going to show you what I mean all together I'm going to be playing the right hand part 
I know we haven't learned both together, but just watch my left hand and watch what I do. show you what I mean. So it goes F, G. Then it goes back to C. G, C. Then it goes back to G. So just know you're doing the same pattern. The only hard part about this is that you change it so much. So let's just go over this entire part again. Just watch my left hand, ignore my right hand, okay? to F. Do a, a little bit different of a left hand pattern. So the next part you do is it's F, C, F, G, D, G, A, E, A. So you're kind of doing these three just separate. So you keep the same formation in your hands and you're just moving up the piano. So it's F, C, F, Move up G, D, G. So now when you move up to A, you go just like the pattern we learned, right? So it's A, E, A, cross over to C, and then you repeat it. So it's A, E, A, C, A, E, repeat. A, E, A, C, A, E. Then you go down to G. So you go G, D, G, B, G, D. And then you switch, okay? So it's like this. Okay? So let's put this part all together from when I was showing you. So it's... chord we're going to do, which is E, B, E, cross over to G sharp, E, back down to B. So just try that. Then you go up to A, and you repeat that. Okay, so now we get to the part where it's a hallelujah. And what that is, is you're going to do the same pattern where you cross over, but you're going to do it between F and A. So it's going to be like this. Hallelujah. So that's F, C, F, A, F, C. Repeat. So it's like this. So practice. 
practice doing them twice, going between F and A. So it's like this. So right when you're on C, you need to switch to A. See, and now I'm on E, and I go back to F. So watch me do it, I'm gonna not talk, and you can just watch. in the left hand except you're just changing the keys so it's C G C E C G now you go G D G B G D and it starts over so it's okay if you're not tracking with when exactly to switch because when we put both hands together it's easier to know when to switch in the left hand but that is the entire left hand and then that whole sequence repeats just like the right hand so we're going to put both hands together next here one thing i will say before you get to this chapter of the tutorial make sure that you practice both hands individually on their own a good amount of time so that you kind of have the basics down because if you have each hand down separately when you go to put them together it's much easier because then you don't have your attention stuck on one hand or this hand or this part you're kind of used to practicing each part separate each part separate and then when you put it together it's much easier okay so that's my tip for you all now we're going to go ahead and put both hands together okay guys so the timing on this is a little hard i'm going to be honest with you and it's kind of hard to teach because it repeats on a loop and over and over and then the parts change so i'm going to just slow it down nice and slow and you can watch me put both hands together just so you can get the timing down okay so i'm going to go through the whole song nice and slow here we go
right guys and that is the entire song hopefully you were able to follow along with this tutorial i know i taught it a little bit differently than my other videos just because the way that this left hand is the timing and the counting method that i usually do was just not workable for this style of video so hopefully you can follow along with me here and if you have any questions at all definitely let me know in the comments below i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a ton. And I appreciate every single one of you who learned something from my videos. All right, guys, I'll see you next week.